All right, welcome back to CulbertRadio.com live from the far right side of the holy city. I am the political director, Percy Hugo. It is time for the most exciting segment. Thank God we got Brooke here to keep yeah, you in line. Far out, the fabulous, unbelievably gifted. That's Percy right, Hugo. Right. Talent on loan from God. Remember, the premise of the show is be reasonable. No, the premise of That's the show is... That's why we got Brooke here. You make be you, reasonable. Make it's you all reasonable. All about well, Percy, right. it's all about... Go ahead. I don't know what you just said. It's so, all about Percy. Oh, I thought you said... No, oh, thank God. Oh, um, he said Percy. Yeah, no, that's what I We've was, left the movie reviews. We've left Hangover. <laughs> Let's move on. I was, I was really confused. Like, I seriously... We got him a lot, guys. I'm not even kidding. That was scary. Uh, so... Did okay. I mention I'm not a movie buff that... I just watch movies in the box. <laughs> did, 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 I I <laughs> much, did I mention how, how often you manage to creep me out, like, times per show? Creep outs per capita every time we sit down in the same room together? Hey, did so. Chick McGee ever get to do his walk-on in a porn? I don't know. I, I don't... I don't. Who's Chick McGee? See, Whoa. you gotta listen to Bob and Tom. What? Yeah, you gotta listen um, to Bob and Tom. I think yeah. that was radio shtick, guys, okay? Yeah. I don't know. I, well, if he if he isn't it. he estranged from his wife again? Uh, I think he has a girlfriend now. Are we doing the political segment? We were. We were. We were trying. We're sorry, Percy. Well, I'm not politically you know incorrect. As I I've derailed enough segments on this show, I can't really complain if you. That's guys what I love about the on. show: derailing segments. So, <clears throat> whoa. I saw that movie yesterday. Let me go ahead and ask you a movie. <laughs> Derailed? Have you seen that movie? No. Derailed with uh, you get it on video with Jennifer Aniston and uh, uh, Clive Owen. Clive Owen. It's actually a pretty decent movie. Derailed. I want to see the one with Gerard uh, Butler. Butler and uh, Jennifer Aniston. That looks really good. Oh, the Bounty Hunter one? Did you see um, um, a Law Abiding Citizen? No, I didn't. Not seen it yet. Was it, was it good? Uh, Gerard Butler should be up for Best Actor in his role in that film. Really? He's I've good. never been a big Gerard Butler fan. I like his movies, but he's, I don't like he's, he's an acting Scotsman. lightweight to me. But he was awesome that. in that he film. He's a great He really Scotsman. proved he's an actor. He has a Scottish accent. He's, he's a good Scotsman. He really was awesome in this film. He's it's a great movie. He's Sean Connery, my, uh, but he's a good actor. My wife is a huge Phantom of the Opera fan and a huge Gerard Butler fan. So when Gerard Butler played the Phantom of the Opera, I was... I was sleeping on the couch that night. He did. Yeah, yeah. Gerard, Gerard Butler was the Phantom in the new, the most recent version of the Phantom of the Opera, and, and he sang, oh. and chicks loved it. Huh? <laughs> you mean on on Broadway? No, 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 in the movie. Hmm. I'm not kidding. He's the you know, best thing to happen to musical theater since Andrew Lloyd Webber. Well, go ahead with your political. <laughs> All right, please. Now that you brought in Andrew Lloyd Webber, we're all being just a little bit lighter in our loafers. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. be all that conservative. So Thank you to all the, the homosexuals. The premise of the show, though. yeah, that's our, for our one homosexual listener. And uh, Mark, we hope to see you soon. Um, the, uh, <laughs> I'm glad we're not. <laughs> we're not singling anyone out, Mark. Yeah. The, uh, he's not a homosexual. He's just alone. Uh, so he's how just reasonable, sensitive. I'm just so. making fun of the guy. How reasonable is this document? What is it? Uh, read it off. It's the Declaration of Independence slash the Constitution of the United States. How reasonable would you would you expect it that to be? That is one of the single greatest it, documents ever written. Sure, in human right, history. right. And how reasonable would you expect it to we be? We have for created us an to... entire system, political system, of binding laws based upon a ten-page document. Have right. you ever seen the Constitution of the European Union? It's probably way longer. It's hundreds of pages. Well, we managed to turn that. This into is designed a... so that the common citizen. Right. Could understand what his rights and his liberties are. Genius. His liberties, more important than his rights. And this was designed to either A, limit government, or B, limit government. Yeah, it's one of those two. Yeah, yeah. The, so is it, the point is, the, the Constitution, our Constitution, was sorry, specifically please. designed to tell government what it could not do. Not to tell the people what they could not do. So, now, whenever we face a, an issue of constitutionality... Which it's interesting we did, that Barack Obama doesn't get that. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Barack Obama did say that the Constitution is limited, and that is a philosophical difference, but you cannot, sure. it cannot be made in a reasonable argument that the Constitution was originally intended to empower the government. It was intended to empower the people and limit government. So whenever Based you on the thought, social doesn't contract. it right. start with we the people? Right, exactly. Okay. So the Constitution is us. That's it's a, why it's an actual contract. When the when the president and, and any other public official takes office, they they take a, an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution because the that's the first thing they forget. Well, yeah, of course it is. But it's that's because, what all the liquor, the inaugurations for. Sure, it's it's because we the people are this document. We are this Constitution in the sense that this is. 
the defining document of our liberty. Is liberties. the Constitution so, a living document? No. Okay. No, living living document, not living Did document. Did you shake in the your head? It, it is a living head? document. It, it's it living, living in the document. sense that it can be amended, but it is not That's living right. in the sense that it, only one body can actually interpret. It's a perversion the of the concept to, right. to say that you can interpret. Oh, the I meant law to say working. Any way you want. I meant right. to say working. The interpretation you can amend must amend the document. Right. The interpretation of the law must be up to the supreme or the supreme court. Right. So this week we are faced with a dilemma. You did say interpretation, right? Yes. The okay. interpretation must be up to We're the still constitutionality. With you. This week we are faced with a dilemma. Because we've been hearing about health care for a long time and the sure. concept of reconciliation. All right. So have any of you heard of the new slaughter strategy? Is anybody familiar I've heard, with I've heard the word term. No. Here's what the slaughter strategy is. The House and the Senate cannot agree on a health care reform bill, right? right? The Senate had the 60 votes. They lost. the the. They're down to 59 with the election of Scott Brown. Right. The House was not going to pass the Senate bill. And the Senate was not going to pass the House bill. They didn't have either votes in either, or enough votes in either chamber to ensure passage of it. So what they're going to do is they're going to take the Senate bill and Nancy Pelosi, thanks to a, a woman named Louise Slaughter, I think her name is, has come up yeah. with a strategy to make it a rule in the House to vote as if the House has already passed Pass the, the bill. Senate bill. Now, my disagreement with this does not come from some incredibly right-wing or crazy lunatic nutjob fringe. It comes right out of this document. Sure. And I'm going to read Article 1, Section 7, if you guys will permit me. All bills for raising revenue shall originate in the House of Representatives, blah, 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 blah. Every bill which shall have passed the House of Representatives and the Senate, and the Senate, shall... Before it becomes a law, be presented to the President of the United States. If he approve, he shall sign it. But if not, he shall return it with, obje with his objections to that house in which it shall have originated. Who shall enter the objections at large on their journal and proceed to reconsider it? If after such reconsideration, two-thirds of that house shall agree to pass the bill, it shall be sent together with the objections to the other house by which it shall likewise be reconsidered. If approved by two-thirds of that house, it shall become a law. But in all such cases, the votes of both houses shall be determined by yeas and nays, and the names of the persons voting for and against the bill shall be entered on the journal of each house respectively. Right. Now, this doesn't seem like it's... It, that just seems like a little bit of, of procedural. Uh, so your argument with, is with the slaughter rule. My argument is definitely with the slaughter rule. You cannot you're reconcile a bill that you haven't voted on. You're not, you're not arguing reconciliation. I'm not arguing reconciliation. Gotcha. Reconciliation is going to happen. They've already pulled There's that bill. There's nothing unconstitutional about There's, this, right? They've already, well, it's parliamentary. It is a parliamentary procedure, and I argue that it's unconstitutional to, to reconcile something that's not a budgetary bill. But they are going to try to no put reason, this through. There's no reason why they can't. Sure. There's no, in, in the sense that there's no constitutional It's never been done. Can. Right, and it shouldn't be done, in my opinion. However, I agree with you. The, but that doesn't mean it can't. Let's, let's but, do but, this. But, let's but, focus but, on the but, but, but it is a budgetary bill. It, it adversely affects the, the the budget if they put a, uh, and they will get it in there. They'll get sure, a public but, option. So, but this is not a bill that determines. It's not just a budgetary right, bill. Right, this is not a bill that determines a whole new program. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. So, and, now, and that's so it's, it's a two-edged sword here. Exactly. And my my disagreement with the slaughter strategy is not based on anything other than its complete. A complete disagreement with the Constitution. Now, if you're going to come out and say George Bush started and perpetuated a war that was unconstitutional when he put it to a vote, then how are you going to reconcile that political philosophy with putting this bill between two houses when one house has not even voted on the bill? There are no yeas or nays recorded in the journal of the House of Representatives on this bill. It all Nobody depends knows. on who's in power. It does depend on who's in power, and but it does not make it right. And if the Republicans have done this before, that doesn't make them right. I got a prediction for you. What's that? It's going to fail. Oh, of course. This There's part is going to one fail. thing we've learned over the many years. I've heard Democrats complain about this. Yeah. So once they get power, they always screw it up. Yes, they, they do. can't. See they become so drunk they on their own They turn power. on each other like. Yep. <laughs> well, that's, that's their problem. When you're not in power, you have to agree to fight the the powerful party. There is no way. Twelve of those people are going to vote for that thing That's true. unless they fix, first of all, the abortion wording in the bill. Oh, absolutely. And uh, there's a lot of those but that's how they're, why that, get re The slaughter strategy is how they're trying to get around that. So we'll go ahead and uh, wrap the political segment up. i got one more thing I'm going to say. We'll say it in the next segment. We'll call it a night. We'll be right back from CobraRadio.com. Cobra Radio. Radio. Live.